This video will show how to do some basic programming using the touchpad uh, screen on the Gravelgraph M40 ABC engraver. Uh, this is a small computerized engraver, ideally suited for doing nameplates and small engraving jobs. Okay, the first thing we do is we have to turn the machine on. There is an on button right down here. And then at the top of the machine, on top of the touchpad controller, there's a power button. We hold the power button in until the screen starts up. This is the first Gravelgraph screen. They call it the M40 ABC because it's supposed to be uh, very simple to use for engraving. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this reflection. Okay, that's better. There is a stylus here on the machine. It can be used for touching the different options on the screen. And there's a keyboard, which you can use for typing, typing in the information. So we go to ABC, touch the ABC. Now we're in the A screen. And on the A screen, we're able to tell it the size of the piece that we're going to engrave. And we do that right up here. This graphic shows the width of the engraving. So we have a three by one nameplate. We're gonna type in three inches for the width. And here's the height. We'll put the height in as one inch. And then we push the enter key now we have a three by one engraving area with a text cursor flashing, meaning we're ready to type. We then go to the B screen where we can set the cutter height, or excuse me, the character height here, 0.196, and the font style. In this case, it's uh, SL513. And we can type in a name, uh, Bruce Longshot. Notice as we were typing the name in, if we continue to type, it will compress the name and make it fit within the area available on the nameplate. So now if we wanted a second line, we would just push the enter key and type in uh, whatever we wanted to have for the second line. But in this case, we'll just do a single line. It automatically centers and spaces the lines between the margins. Okay, then we come to the C screen by pushing on C. This is the engraved setup screen. And here we tell it Zoom out just a little bit. Right here, we tell it we're using the center vise. It shows a little picture of a vise. Here we say we want the spindle to rotate or not to rotate. We want it to rotate. Over here, we can set the speed, the XY speed at one inch per second, the Z speed at one inch per second. And uh, this is the depth that it the, actually it amounts to pressure, how much more pressure it's going to put on the, the depth nose pushing against the plastic. And this is how high it's going to lift up in between the engraving. If we want to test the job, we push the green start button with the red dot on it. It says machine ready to receive. 
and then we hit the start button on the machine and when we do that the machine moves back to its home position which is in the back left corner down here on the vise we've installed the holding jigs with an adjustable stop and the vise does open and close simultaneously so that they uh, center the nameplate within the machine and then we hit the start button.